the five plus one group must remain united as regards its objective and take up realistic and rigorous negotiating positions which guarantee the exclusively peaceful nature of the Iranian program. So, based on this, France, and hopefully our partners in the negotiation, has three guiding principles which we demand to see implemented. First, we need to ensure in each area that Iran's pledge in the initial Geneva Agreement, quote, neither to seek nor to develop any nuclear weapons is completely fulfilled. This principle must particularly apply to the Iraq plutonium reactor, to uranium enrichment, and to centrifuges. We cannot ignore the ballistic capability to carry nuclear weapons. That's the first point. Second, it is also necessary to reach a clear conclusion about the past, in particular the possible military dimension of the Iranian program. This is essential to build trust and to ensure that there is no hope. The IAEA will be entrusted with securing assurances on this issue. Three, should Iran unfortunately fail to honor its commitments and precedents exist such as North Korea in 2003 and Iran in 2005, it is essential to limit its capabilities to acquire nuclear weapons by providing the international community with sufficient time to break out. This breakout element is essential too. The action plan which has been agreed allows until 20 of July to obtain a comprehensive agreement. Discussions on enrichment are and will be difficult. But our line is clear. A demanding approach is the only way to verify the exclusive peaceful purposes of the program. France is ready for an agreement, but it is clear that we shall not allow Iran to obtain nuclear weapons.